Hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, thank you uh, for tuning in today. Uh, my name is Ola Motayo. Uh, welcome to uh, my wealth space. Uh, this is where we talk about uh, how to uh, to build our, our wealth, how to uh, build wealth for the next generation, how to, we, we lay the platform for us to be able to have a financial uh, breakthrough. Thank you for watching this. Uh, if you have not subscribed to this uh, channel, I want you to please, please subscribe to it so that you will be the, one of the, those that will first get the notification. And also, I want you to hit like and I want you to uh, uh, to share this uh, this uh, this video. I want you to comment on this video so that it will encourage me to see how far uh, you are liking it and what your 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 opinion is about this video. And I will be happy. To continue to read your comment. Uh, today's program is going to be different. What I'm talking about is going to be a little bit different from the norm, from the usual. I'm talking about our health today. You know, health, 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 health. I understand we we our our core goal on this channel is to build wealth for the next generation. But if you come to think about it, if you don't have your health, it will be difficult for you to build wealth. That's why I think we need to kind of, you know, just take a little break and just look into our health, which is number one. It is number one in my life. I believe it should be your number one, too, because without without health, we don't have anything. Health is number one. It is number one in life. It is it is what brings us to do all other things. So I say, you know, let me just you know take a little bit break and let's talk about our health, especially within us, within African American, we that, that share the same generic, we that start uh, the same trait, you know, we that have the same uh, quote and unquote uh, uh, grand grand ancestors and, and all that together. We share those things together. As we share those things, either we agree or we disagree, uh, we all that share some other things with it. And some of the stuff that really affect us as a community, as 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 people, as, as a group, is, is 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 high blood pressure. Now, one of it is high blood pressure. High blood pressure is really really high among African American. Is really really high amongst black, among us. You know, among who that that we share the same the same identity with. If you are black, I share your identity. You share my identity. I'm your representative, and you are my representative. No matter what it is, we are the same. We look alike, we act alike, we respond to things the same way. We are different people, but we generally there are some things that uh, that we share that are in common with us. And this blood pressure is a trait, and, and is is really really high in Africa. It's really really high in Africa. If it's high in Africa, it won't be a surprise for me to know or to find out that it's also high. In, in, in among uh, African American in the United States, so that's why I say we should talk about as a community to really see like, hey, we are not far apart. We might be different in personality, but we still share some the same trait. It said it's a revolutionary trait uh, during the well in the, in the, in a in the tropical region in, in where there is, they have these uh, mosquitoes and uh, malaria thing uh, is, is common. I can relate to it because I, I've gotten malaria when I was growing up and it's, it's just a common thing in the tropical region, uh, especially in Africa. It's common in Nigeria, it's common in West Africa. So it, it is what it is. We share this revolutionary trait, this genetic, uh, genetic uh, 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 trait together. And I think, uh, we have to discuss about it. Uh, it's not that because somebody is bad or somebody is is good. Uh, sometimes it's just because you know we share the same the same thing. So blood pressure. I think I think if I'm not mistaken, I think it's around forty five to fifty or fifty or there about percent of, of of African of blacks that that have blacks adults that have uh, high blood pressure. So it caught my attention, and I think we should we should be able to talk about it as a community, as people, as a group, as a race. We need to pay attention to it and call ourselves into it. It's a silent killer. It's a silent killer because you're not going to feel it. It's not going to feel that, oh, what is going on? 
but sometimes by the time you start feeling feeling it or feeling anything, it's too late. It's too late. You, it's, it's, it leads to hypertension. Hypertension leads to stroke. You know, leads to other things, and and it's just not something that is uh, pleasant at all. So that's why I think I should be able, we should be able as a community to address it and and make and make it a, a, a talking point. You know, let us see how we can help one another. You know, to uh, to uh, bring that pressure down. What is the blood pressure? Blood pressure is the rate that your heart pumps this blood uh, through your body. Uh, if it's fast or if it's too slow, they say you have a high blood pressure, you have too low blood pressure. We need blood to flow through our body, but at a distinct rate, not too high and not. If it's too high, it causes problem. If it's too low, it causes problem. So blood pressure. Is one of it is very very high. We all need to get you know to pin it down. We can do that by changing our f diet. You know, diet. You know, sodium, salt, too much salt, not too great. Uh, some of the other other food that we eat that that increase you know uh, blood pressure in our body. So we need to stay away from that lifestyle. You know how we you know how we live. Uh, uh, dieting and, and you know all kind of stuff that we do that can help ourselves that can help us to bring that that uh, blood pressure uh, diet is is one of the exercising you know you know to help ourselves you know walk walk and lubricate our body our, our bone our blood you know we have to change our lifestyle if we do have it but if we don't we still have to keep our eyes on it making sure that at least uh, we not we not just ignoring it or, do, or looking the other way. So blood pressure, it is, it is what it is. We have to you know, be aware of it and take our time to make sure and listen to our body and listen to ourselves and see how we can make it uh, uh, low, bring it down. The next one I'm gonna talk about in this video is, uh, is uh, 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 diabetes. You know, diabetes is a sugar level, uh, how the, our, uh, the insulin in our body works to, you know, to bring down the, uh, the sugar level, you know, so that we're not going to you know, have too much sugar in our body. Too much sugar in our body causes a lot of havoc, a lot of dangerous things in our body. People, you know, you know it's, not, it's not pleasant. Uh, people who have lost to you know, lose some part of their body due to uh, diabetes. Uh, the high diabetes, you can even lose your sight. You can lose a leg. You can lose your feet. You can lose your toes. You know, so we need to uh, we need to uh, pay attention to it. We need to do that through our, our diet and through our medication, through treatment, through management, whatever it is that we can do. But well, especially when you talked about your uh, uh, type two, you know, diabetes, uh, which is, seems to be like uh, a cause, you know, something that we can we can control a little bit to some extent. Uh, we can, you know, do that through the uh, through the change of our diet, through a, a, a good dieting, not poor dieting. A poor dieting, you know, does not help us. You know, generally overall for health. A poor dieting doesn't help us. So if we, you know, if we take care of ourselves and make sure that not all everything that is that it, that you like to eat that is good for us, it's not everything that I like to eat that I know that is good for me. No, it's not. Sometimes what we like to eat, what we like to uh, to to chew on, to 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 take as a snack, is not very good for us. Uh, especially, you know. Processed thing. If it's processed, it's full of uh, uh, the auto, the gene of the thing. They 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 put sugar, sweetness, sweetening in it. It is not good. We need to change our our diet if we have those things. If you have those challenges in our life, uh, diabetes is 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 not good. It's something that we can uh, we can you know enhance and help ourselves as a community to kind of bring it down. Uh, make sure that uh, it doesn't, you know, spread like like wildfire. Uh, but now uh, it's, it's, it's there, and it's, it is what it is. Uh, and again, diabetes seems can be get can be uh, uh, can be uh, gotten through, you know, parents through uh, genetic uh, traits, through uh, revolutionary traits. You know. You know your great grandfather, my great great grandfather, you know, my parents, you know, stuff like that. So we need to look at help 
a, a help yourself by doing eating a, a, a balanced diet, a good diet will help to bring those diabetes you know, down, especially the, uh, the type two that, uh, that seems to be uh, uh, artificial, that seems to be uh, caused by, uh, by us. You know, we can bring those that and bring it under control. So the last one I'm gonna talk about is uh, cholesterol. You know, cholesterol is, is uh, leads to uh, uh, heart disease, heart disease, uh, it let us, it, it, it brings all those uh, uh, wanton pleasant in, in us. It, 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 it can lead to early in the stage of heart attack. Uh, you know, the cholesterol, then they, they talk about the little, you know, fatty look like uh, substance that, that, that pile up in, within your arteries in your heart you know, that keep developing and closing those, those uh, uh, valves where blood flows in and flows out now. And uh, now when it keeps growing and growing and growing, it blocks, it blocks the, uh, the vein, it blocks the valve where it uh, is being difficult. I'm not a doctor, but I'm just pitch, you know, you know, trying to you know, put the picture out there of what we are talking about when it talks about our cholesterol. Cholesterol in the blood, cholesterol in your arteries, in your, in your heart, everywhere, it is not good. Uh, poor dieting, poor, poor dieting uh, can contribute to that. And uh, it's, it's not as, it's, we are not, as a race, we are not the highest in, uh, in I think it's about maybe 12%, but it's still a concern because a lot of people die of heart attack, of heart diseases, of heart diseases. And that, and, and, and cholesterol, you know, leads to heart disease. And that is why, you know, we bring it up as, as, uh, as uh, something to talk about as, uh, as a narrative for now. As narrative now that we need to work on it as African American, as Black people, we need to work on our cholesterol to make sure that we have a good diet to bring it down and bring it down, you know, for us to live a healthy life. Remember, we still have this great opportunity ahead of us to build this generational wealth that we want to enjoy and we want to enjoy it and then hand it over to our to our next generation. So without this health, we cannot do that. So join me in having a good, good, good diet, a good, good health at, at care, health for yourself, health for, for your children, for your family, so that we can all enjoy this together, so that we can spend all this time together in health. So please, please take care of yourself, take care of your body, listen to your body, your health, your space, your, your, your you know, you hone it, you know, you hone your life, you hone your wealth, you hone your health, and make sure that you enjoy it to the fullest. Thank you for joining in. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please, please subscribe to this channel. If you have not been liking this channel, please hit like, share, and comment on this on this channel. I will really appreciate it. I'd love to read your, com your comment. Till I see you the next time in the next video, I say bye and have a wonderful day. Bye.